Um, and yeah, and it's a bit of a sellout, a huge disappointment for me anyway. Yeah, it's uh, it, like I say, yeah, it, 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 it struck me as a, a disappointment too. Uh, there's, I'm just trying to look down our list of things that I can quickly throw in, just maybe little tidbits of, uh, of news which aren't particularly a big concern or big issue. But uh, while you're looking, I can I can bring something else if oh, you. Well, yeah. uh, there you go, what a team. Um, the first one I bring in, just very quick mention, and that, ironically enough, I was um, brought to, this was brought to my attention by one of the. Uh, Microsoft advocates, and I use that word very loosely, um, on that floats around Usenet, who is trying to use it as a uh, as an in, insulting method towards other Linux users on the uh, in the news group. I'm not quite sure what his intent was, but uh, it's called the Text of Eagle. It's a it's an ebook. Uh, it's a, another one of these e-ink uh, ebooks, and it's set to compete with, um, or I presume wants to compete with the Kindle and the Nuke and the all the other ones that are out on the market. That, at the time. The difference with this one is is that uh, it only costs allegedly around £8 or £9 um, for, the, for the device. Um, it's uh, it's quite interesting to look at. There'll be a link on the show notes. Um, personally, I don't think it's going to really take off. I can't really see the advantage of this thing whilst it's £50, £60 pound less than the Amazon Kindle. It's not really offering anything in particular that's um, that's worthwhile the money. It's apps, so it's, its library stories are considerably smaller than Amazon's. Um, it has no facility to have a uh, to plug up by a US, uh, USB to transfer your data across. And in fact, you can only transfer, you can only hold five books on it, ebooks on it, any one time, which you access via uh, downloading from the store. I've subsequently found since so writing the article that you can. Uh, Email you email your own books to your account on the Text of Beagle, so you can actually get your own whatever books you bought elsewhere onto your Text of Beagle. Um, and the other problem is, is in the days of rechargeable batteries and built-in power cells, um, the Beagle runs on three, I think it's AAA batteries, so it's sort of sort of lagging would in the old. Uh, uh, I'm sure. I'm be. sure it would. I'm sure it would be, but it's, it's it makes it a bit more bulky when it's got uh, three of these little batteries stuffed in it. Um, the other, the other the thing. The advantage is, of course, you can actually take several batteries with you if you go on a journey. Yeah, but then my Kindle lost a month. About my Kindle lost about yeah. two months. Yeah. The months thing about got... your, you got an Oricos, I think, uh, tablet. Sorry. You've got an Oricos tablet as well. An Arnova, it's not an Arnova tablet. Or no, yeah, it's it's Oricos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's the same thing I got, and I think the battery life on these things is something like four hours, depending on what you're doing. And if you go on a long journey, it's it's likely to run out of battery after a while. But with that, so. I mean, but with the ink readers, they're, in the, the, they're uh, excellent for saving the battery because once it's drawn the page, that's it. There's no more power used. And uh, like I say, with with the Kindle, for example, you've got two two three months of power there um, because it literally doesn't so it doesn't require anything apart from a page turn. Um, the, other, the other drawback of the text speed, which makes this eight pound ninety nine or whatever it's going to be, not as um, not as particularly desirable, and I have to say it's two two AAA batteries, not three. I'm going to correct myself. Um, one of its sales pitches is um, two AAA batteries enable you to read 12 to 15 books a year, um, which isn't particularly uh, a good lifespan. When I read about eight books a month, um, if my batteries are going to run out, and especially if you're not using rechargeables for very much longer, your text the beagles going to cost a lot more than your Kindle. Um, with its rechargeable power cell, so what seems to be a good deal on the uh, on the outset isn't particularly uh, isn't a particularly good deal when you look into it a bit further. In my opinion, um, the fact that you're locked into a different marketplace, whilst I can't say that Amazon are blameless here because they lock you into the same type of marketplace. The only difference with Amazon is that there's a lot more titles, a lot more uh, people publishing material to the Amazon marketplace. And I can't see you having uh, any sort of connectivity with the Beagle to Amazon Marketplace, uh, because obviously, as we know, Amazon uses their uh, DRM on a lot of titles. So uh, uh, I yes. wouldn't. I would have my opinions. I, I generally wouldn't. You know, my opinions on DRM in general, oh. and, and 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 people can really email themselves the, the stuff. It makes perfect sense to me. That's that's the way I yeah, deal with a lot of stuff. I mean, if you. It, 
the thing is, well, you can get free books, Gutenberg project and stuff. And if you really know what you're doing, you you would find fairly decent books, and you can email them to yourself. Now, I'm not saying that you always have to read free stuff, but you know, there was lots of stuff in the public domain. But a lot of people just go for the latest and greatest for the same reason they would go, you know, go to the cinema and kind of oh, say, I'm oh, you have to watch the latest films and say. How about you watch one of the greatest hits from about ten years ago? It probably will be more enjoyable. Um, I agree. I mean, this is, I always said though, and, and I mean, in the world of this sort of film, you can go over to Vodo and you can see some of the uh, some of the projects there that are, are released under a Creative Commons license mm-hmm. um, are absolutely fantastic, and some of them rival what's on currently on the television at the moment. However, there's a big difference in investment of time, I've always said, with the ebook because you, with a movie, you can sit down, you can waste an hour. If the film's rubbish, you can, you know, it's, it's not too much of a, uh, a big deal. Books require a little bit more of an investment of time and a little bit more going out of your way. And I think whilst there's a lot of very, very good stuff that is for free, and in fact, funnily enough, um, there's quite a few places where you can actually get commercial titles which are going to be sold full free on Amazon because they're trying to get out a few copies for reviews and things like that. And there's a couple of sites actually um, follow all these titles and alerts readers to say, look, this title's uh, for free at the moment and you'll find it a few weeks later for sale. Um, and it's all to so that Amazon can get reviews on their site and people can give it an appraisal before they start selling it uh, properly. Um, but yes, it, it, there's a lot of good stuff out there in, 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 in the ebook world for absolutely nothing. However, it's there is a lot of rubbish, and uh, to sift through the rubbish um, means you miss out on a lot of good stuff and vice versa. Um, so it's, it's not always the best. Uh, I, I certainly don't, unless I've had a recommendation from somebody, I wouldn't specifically target the, the released free material um, purely because I don't have the time to get halfway through a book and find too many grammatical errors that has ruined my enjoyment or the plot's gone wrong because there's been no editor and nobody's actually made sure that the book actually makes any sense at all. Um, so, but that's my opinion, but other people might, uh, might differ. Um, so, yeah, that, that was a text to be, I meant only to throw that in on the, uh, sort of as a side note. Um, I'm just having a little look. Um, I know you've already mentioned this before, but I haven't, and uh, it's quite old now, I think 10th of October I posted about this, but um, I noticed that Balmer didn't get his full bonus at the time. Um, yeah, it's a pain. Yes. Well, he's got, if you're talking about his wage, which... No, his, his, yeah, his bonus, yeah, his whatever, his end-of-year bonus or... Uh, yeah, his, his well, their share has been a lot more. You have to bear in mind, I mean, people in yeah, these positions very often get like a dollar a month, oh, just just oh, for symbolic. I'm, I'm sure that Balmer's fortune uh, stretches the, uh, the width and uh, length of the country. However, the thing about the bonus I always said was that it does highlight the feelings of um, of success that his uh, his fellow uh, board have, a, have about him, and to cut it means that they're not particularly happy. I suggest, which I would hope means that the uh, surface tablet in particular uh, is going to be his hinging point as to whether he's uh, he's continuing on or not. Um, I'm certainly sure he wouldn't miss the money if he uh, if he was asked to leave Microsoft. Um, I'm quite sure he's made himself quite a fortune that he can sit on for the rest of his life quite comfortably, but. It's, I think, a lot's hinging on the products that have released Windows 8 and uh, you've got the Windows Phone 8 and all, all these new uh, products. If they start going the way of the dodo, like we saw the Kin, uh, or very rarely mentioned Windows Well, it's got a Windows trademark, so it couldn't go as bad as Kin or Zoom. Or, or well, I mean, the w- Windows Phone 7 didn't fare much better. I mean, I know, I, I know the yeah. Kin was diabolical, but... Yeah, it, but... It, you know, I never saw I never saw Windows Phone 7. It, it was sort of a bit of a whisper around. You saw a few little stats where it maybe teetered on the on the top on on the five like big name brands as it were, big name uh, phones. But it never got anywhere, and nobody ever really mentioned it. And yeah. There was a lot of big promises well, made. Be careful of lumping in uh, Windows Phone 8 and Windows 8. It sounds similar, but it's oh, yeah. fairly different. They, they want to merge them eventually, and I think that in fact that really explains to you what the mess that they're making out of Windows 8, they call it Vista 8, because um, they're really, really struggling to uh, make a dent in uh, tablets and phones, and they've been trying to sue Linux, and they're trying to sue Android, and it's not exactly working out, I think, the way they want to, and even though they get some extortion money and royalties, 
I mean, look, they, they actually are getting this money, but the fact is Android keeps growing, even with this extra cost from certain vendors like Samsung and LG. So they don't manage to really stop the thing. Um, and and the only way for them to try and conquer those devices is to somehow convince people